Okay, so here is the answer that we got from the last part. We have the i hat. Now we're going to look at the j hat. So we're going to distribute this into this side of the equation and take the integral of that. Um, so as I do that, I'm going to rewrite dq as um, lambda dy so that I can separate the constant from the variable. So I'm going to get k lambda the integral from 0 to L of y over uh, the square root, oops, no. I'm going to multiply the denominators. I'm going to get x squared plus y squared to the 3 halves. And then the dy comes out here. OK, this can be rewritten as k lambda And we'll move the denominator upstairs by setting the exponent to negative. So we get y prime times x squared plus y prime squared to the negative 3 halves dy. OK, and let's uh, do a little guess and check here. I'm going to guess that the antiderivative of this is um, x squared plus y squared to the negative one half. And let's see what happens if I take the derivative of that. I'm going to get negative one half times x squared. Oops, I'm going to run out of space here. x squared plus y squared to the negative three halves times the derivative of this. x is a constant in this equation. So that goes to zero, and then we get two y. The 2's cancel, and so I get negative y to the um, times x squared plus y squared to the negative 3 halves. So if I just make this negative, then I've got my answer. Okay, so that's going to be my antiderivative. So let's just plug that in. So I've got k, oops, got k, and I'll rewrite lambda as q over l now because we're going to try and set this up the way it is in the back of the book, uh, times negative, um, let's do this, negative y over x squared plus l squ uh, y squared to the, uh, oops, this is going to be square rooted, right? Uh, and that is all evaluated from 0 to L. So um, this time I will we'll rewrite k as uh, 1 over 4 pi epsilon. So we get q over 4 Sorry, my writing's getting a little sloppy here. Q over 4 pi epsilon naught L, move the L down into the basement, times, and we'll just plug in L wherever we see Y. And oops, this is wrong. Sorry, this is supposed to be. Uh, just a negative 1, OK? So we get negative 1 over the square root of x squared plus l squared minus, and now we'll plug in a 0 here. And so this becomes negative 1 over x squared square rooted. So that becomes x. Um, and then that's it. Now we can further simplify this by multiplying uh, let's see here Oh, 
Mouse. do we multiply both sides by x over x and we get x over x squared and we get x negative x over x to the square root of x squared plus l squared. Um, let's see, minus, 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 so that becomes a plus. Um, right, minus and minus makes a plus. And then, uh, I'm not really sure why they did this. I guess they think it's more simplified this way. 4 pi epsilon naught l. And now we can pull out a 1 over x. And so when I pull out a 1 over x, um, and rewrite this equation, I have, this is becomes 1, and this is a negative, so I'll flip the order of these, so I get 1 minus um, x over the square root of x squared plus l squared times q over 4 pi epsilon naught l and then remember I pulled out 1 over x, so we put an x out here. And I believe that's what they have at the back of the book for the j hat direction. Remember, this is negative j hat. Okay, so that's how that works.